you know, when you watch fights from these lower weight divisions, you want to be like immersed. You want to see like leather being thrown. We're about to listen to the cars. In order to win the title. Do you feel that Boy Trago has a chance at that here? This uh, Boy Trago guy, he just seemed like he just didn't want to be there. You know, I don't know what he may be going through, may or may not be going through in his personal life. But, you know, it just seemed like he didn't want to be there. I'm T Street Controversy with FightView360.com. We're here covering every single major boxing fight live. This is for the WBO 108 pound title being defended by Elwin Soto, who, if you remember, knocked out Angel Acosta. What was that, 2019 or 2018? I forgot. I covered that fight here on the channel. You know, COVID got the timeline all, all messed up. But him, I'm not a fan of his style. As I said, you know, for them lower weight classes, you know, put it this way. I'm all for the sweet signs. I love the sweet signs. But for them lower weight classes, and when you're trying to put on the show, it's like, bro, you know, and it seems as though he could have. Let's listen in. Judge Fernando Villarreal scores at 119, 109. Pat Russell, 117, 111. Zach Young, 115, 113. All for your winner by unanimous decision. Here is still the WBO Junior Flyweight Champion of the World, La Fulga. It's box wreck. That's what's been slowing my shit down. That Elwin Soto won that fight, but 119 109 gets. Yeah, I don't agree with that. Gets lost. That was not. I was one side of the fight as that judge scored it. I mean, maybe they were looking at the. 117 111 was even bad. I mean, the only, the only one I can actually agree with this 115 113 but it goes back to what we were saying who was coming forward who looked i don't know push the fight hold on more very close competitive fight it wasn't no highlights i gotta be honest with you chopping right hand by bull triaga it wasn't on high coming forward the best punch he threw was that 45 degree punch counter shots right there by soto coming in digging to the body and that that's the big shot also, the zone is kind of on my shit list because what happened to them televising the whole cards? Like, what happened to that? You know? Like, the Lamont Roach fight? The, um, damn, I've been practicing how to say his name and I didn't forgot how to say it. Malik, Malik Kuziev? Malik Kuziev. Like, what happened to, like, you know, what happened to them televising the whole card? By the way, here's the uh, punch stats. It don't look like this motherfucker threw no 800 punches, bro. Like, really? We see the copy box statistics. Where them 800 punches come from? More, and we talked earlier about the defense of Soto was blocking and parrying. A Where did they come from? From the Nicaraguan. I mean, it just goes. So when it comes to the 108 pound division, just like I was talking about in the previous video. You know, here in the States, we don't get a lot of access, even though we do have the zone. We do have ESPN Plus that's been a godsend in regards to providing us access to international fights. Still, we don't get enough access to these international fights of these lower weight classes, like the light flyweight division. You know, for example, now he's fighting soon, the WBA Super World Champion. I saw him on the list somewhere. Haroto Kayaguchi. Have I covered him before? He looks so fucking familiar. He's fighting November the 3rd. Since I'm covering this fight, I'm going to try to find that fight and try to cover it for you. That's like a Tuesday morning or something like that. By the way, here's the zone schedule. Pause it if you have to. That's Joshua Pulev down at the bottom. I like it. I don't like that Daniel Jacobs, Gabriel Rosado. I mean, I don't know, you know, but let's stay on topic. Um, Felix Alvarado, what do I know him from? N another Nicaraguan fighter, 35 and 2 with, uh, what's that? 30 KOs. One of the last time he fought. He hasn't fought during COVID. He hasn't fought since May of 2019. And he is the IBF champion. And then WBC champion, Kenshiro Taraji. Tarajai, Taraji, 17 and 0 with 10 KOs. The amazing boy. This is his moniker. He last fought in December of last year. A couple days before Christmas.
So you're not a fan of Soto. Not not a, not a fan of that style, man. 112 got some possible good action that can happen, but I covered Muthalani's fight. Methalani's fight. He was um on ESPN Plus. Julio Cesar Martinez covered him last week, but the zone took my video. I could have got it back, but I didn't. These motherfuckers right here was arguing all night. But anyway, let me get up out of here. Get ready for the main event. I'm teaching you controversy with FightView360.com. Um, I did think Soto won by a close margin, you know, but um, the cards were off, in my opinion.